the astronomy highlights of 2023 and 2024 are definitely going to be centered on the solar eclipses taking place in those years. And these really are must-see events, especially here in America. So, who's ready to get involved in an eclipse science project? Don't worry, no degree required. The DEB initiative is going to be perhaps the biggest citizen science project on these solar eclipses. Now, to try and keep this video relatively short, I'm going to keep it light on the science and talk mostly about what the project is going to be doing. If you want a little more background when it comes to eclipse science, I have an 11 minute video that'll do that for you. It's linked here, or it's going to be available at the end of this video, along with previews for the solar eclipses in October 2023 and April 2024. The big citizen science project for the 2017 Great American Total Solar Eclipse was the Citizen Kate project. In that eclipse, it took the moon's shadow just over 90 minutes to cross the United States. And Citizen Kate was designed to operate about 70 different observing sites in the path of totality and create an animation from as many of those 90 minutes as possible. It was a fantastic success and generated some great science. And here you see one of the images from that project. Kate was led by Matt Penn former associate solar astronomer with the National Solar Observatory. He and a number of others from the 2017 team are now leading the Dynamic Eclipse Broadcast Initiative, DEB. We're looking for both participants and donors. So let me tell you as much as I can about the DEB Initiative's goals and the work. There are different phases of the DEB Initiative, and I'm going to explain as much of what the project is about as concisely as I can in three stages, 2023, 2024, and then the ongoing follow-on project after that. Before getting into the science goals, what makes DEB different from other projects is that in addition to the science, the goal is to broadcast these eclipses from perhaps as many as 100 different sites across the continent. We're going to have a centralized map on our website and any location that has internet access or enough cell signal is going to be sharing images to that map in near real time. The cameras are going to be cranking away, taking images of different exposures in rapid succession, and the software is going to combine each set into a composite. Now, that takes a couple of seconds, which is why we say this is a near real time broadcast. A new composite from each site should load every few seconds. And really that's about as close as you can get to real time with high dynamic range composites compared to single exposures. Right now there's a DEB team preparing to travel to Australia for the April 20th, 2023 total solar eclipse. And they're gonna be running what we hope to be final equipment tests. With that said, phase one of the DEB initiative is the annular solar eclipse on October 14th, 2023. Three simple goals for that one. First, it's going to be our first large-scale test and broadcast. We want to get as many different observing sites up and running and broadcasting as possible so we can really fully test that aspect of the project. Those sites don't have to be in the path of annularity. This is just a test. Second is public outreach. Annular solar eclipses may not be as dramatic or showy as total solar eclipses, but they're still really fun. And this is a chance to get the general public involved and excited, teach them a little bit about eclipses and solar science and get them thinking forward to the total solar eclipse of April, 2024. And goal number three, because you can't see the sun's corona during an annular solar eclipse, there is a limited amount of science that's possible. However, our observing sites are gonna be far enough apart that we're going to use a new technique for mapping features along the lunar limb. After that, phase two includes everything leading up to and including the main event, which is of course, the total solar eclipse on April 8th of 2024. During that time, we're gonna be training participants, conducting coordinated practice sessions, and continuing to tweak the procedures because the goal is for the analysis to happen as quickly as possible once that 24 eclipse data starts rolling in. 
In addition to the broadcast in 2024, there are going to be several dozen sites within the Path of Totality collecting image data. However, it's also really important that we have a whole bunch of sites outside the Path of Totality. One of the big science goals is to investigate the interactions between the sun's disk, its surface, and the innermost corona. This is an area where things just really aren't very well understood. And that requires simultaneous observations from sites both inside and outside of totality. Other science goals include measuring the velocity and acceleration of material within polar plumes, coronal streamers, and hopefully even some big coronal mass ejections. 2024 will be approaching the solar activity maximum, so hopefully the odds are in our favor. The sun's inner corona is only visible during a total solar eclipse. No other instruments can see that part of the sun's atmosphere under normal conditions. So all of this data really will help solar astronomers see how the sun behaves from its surface through all of the layers of the atmosphere. We'll get to see how the material moves and how the different layers interact. An incredible opportunity in solar science. And this may actually be the first time it's been done at anything approaching this level of detail. April 8th, 2024 is obviously the big day for the DEB initiative. And we're going to release image results as quickly as possible and then hopefully have a chance to catch our breath. At that point, the researchers on the team will start their work. Phase three is all of the follow-on projects that the equipment from the DEB initiative can be used for after the eclipse. The hope is that folks from all the different observing sites will choose to stay active doing citizen science, and there are gonna be several different options for that. The 2017 Kate equipment has been used for observing exoplanets transiting their stars. And Deb's improved equipment includes a go-to mount, which will make those observations a lot easier. Second, uh, generating light curves for asteroids and variable stars. Basically watching the intensity of the object change over time is what reveals details about how the object behaves. Three, the DEB equipment can be used to help with some climate science research, measuring the optical depth of the atmosphere. And of course, the equipment package was specifically designed for looking at the sun, so there will be more opportunities for solar work as well. Okay, that was about as quickly as I could make it through what the DEB initiative is about. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. As I said at the start, we are looking for support. The goal is to have as many as 100 different observing sites spread across the continent. Some of that will be funded by grants, but honestly, not all. If you'd like to make a financial contribution of some kind, you can make that as a tax-deductible donation to the DEB initiative through the Southern Illinois University's foundation. Look for that info on the DEB initiative website. What would be really helpful is sponsoring the equipment for an entire observing site. Contact us directly if that's something you'd be specifically interested in doing. Even more fun though, is that we're looking for observers. We need teams to operate all of these observing sites. The DEB initiative is gonna provide the training you need on how to use the equipment. We'll provide the procedures for the data collection, etc. You don't need a strong astronomy background to participate. Back in 2017, we had teams from high schools, community colleges, universities, as well as just individuals. We'd love to get a number of different non-school groups involved too. So whether that be girl groups, scouts, etc., Astronomy clubs, if you want to participate as a club activity, or even better, if you want to sponsor equipment for, or best, partner with a local teacher or other group as part of your public outreach, we'd love to see that happen. The DEB initiative will take some work on your part. I mean, I've described a lot here, but it's also gonna be a lot of fun. If everything I've described here sounds like something you'd enjoy and are interested in committing to, please sign up. October 2023 is really not that far away, and it's gonna take time to get the equipment. 
train on the equipment and practice, practice, practice. So if you're interested in joining the DEB initiative at any level, please contact us or sign up sooner rather than later. And we hope you'll join us doing some really incredible solar eclipse science.